Hey there fellow creators, welcome to our Unreal Engine tutorial video. In this episode, we'll be diving deep into the world of shadows and exploring the contact shadow length parameter of directional light. Shadows play a crucial role in creating realism and depth in our scenes, and understanding how to manipulate this important parameter can greatly enhance the visual quality of our projects. Join us as we unravel the mysteries behind contact shadow length and learn how it differs from the virtual shadow map option. The contact shadow length parameter in Unreal Engine is a fundamental setting that determines the sharpness or softness of shadows cast by objects in a scene. It controls the length or distance over which shadows maintain their crisp and well-defined appearance. So in the first step, let's see where we can find this parameter. And as you can see, we have a directional light actor in our project and I've just selected it from the outliner section. And let's search for the contact. Yes, it's right here in the details section, the contact shadow length parameter, which we're gonna discuss it specifically in this video. When adjusting the contact shadow length, we essentially specify how far the shadowing effect extends from the object casting the shadow. A shorter contact shadow length results in sharper shadows where the shadow edges appear more defined and distinct. This setting is suitable for situations where we want precise and detailed shadows such as when objects are in close proximity to surfaces or when we desire a high level of realism. On the other hand, a longer contact shadow length creates softer and more diffuse shadows. The shadow edges become less defined, blending more smoothly with the surrounding areas. This option is ideal for scenarios where we seek to create a more subtle or artistic lighting style, or when dealing with objects that are further away from the surfaces that cast shadows upon. It's worth nothing that the contact shadow length parameter differs from other shadowing options such as virtual shadow maps. So let's go to the project settings and in the rendering section and shadow section, you can see that the shadow maps method has set on shadow maps. And we were able to change this method to virtual shadow maps. And as you can see by expanding this option, I've just changed the method to virtual shadow maps. But let me just change the viewport in a way so you would better understand how this option works. So let's just go back to the project settings and just pay attention to this shadow over here. And let me just change to the shadow maps. And you can see that we have less resolution in these shadows over here. And let's just go back to the virtual shadow maps. And there we have a more detailed shadow. So what happened here is while virtual shadow maps provide a broader and more general solution for shadow rendering, contact shadows excel at capturing fine details specifically where objects come into the contact with surfaces. These two options serve different purposes and can be combined to achieve the desired level of shadowing in a scene. So, We've explored the contact shadow length parameter in Unreal Engine and its role in achieving realistic shadows. By understanding and manipulating this crucial parameter, we can elevate the visual quality of our scenes and add depth to our virtual worlds. We've also learned how contact shadows differ from virtual shadow maps and when to best utilize each option. Armed with this knowledge, you'll be able to create stunning, immersive environments with shadows that breathe life into your Unreal Engine projects. Thank you for watching and happy shadow crafting.